So for the past couple of days, I was thinking about doing something with Cute Browser, adding a way to get the browser to read selected text for me because sometimes I'm just so lazy that I don't even want to use my eyes to read. I just want somebody to read things to me, kind of like an audiobook or whatever. I did some finagling around and I found a really cool, uh, well, I made a really cool set of commands. I'll show you right now. Here's what it does. So like this little snippet of definition here, I don't, too lazy to read it with my eyes. I'll just get the computer to read it for me. So I'll hit slash to start a search. I'll search for Chrome. Hit enter. Navigate to the second one. Enter caret mode with V. Hit bracket twice to select that chunk of text. With it selected in caret mode, I can hit a shift S or capital S. Chrome, and M left square bracket from automotive slang via warping right square bracket showy features added to attract users, but contributing little or nothing to the power of the system. The 3D icons and motif are just chrome, but they certainly are pretty chrome. Distinguished from bells and whistles by the fact that the latter are usually added to gratify developers' own desires for feature fullness often used as a term of contempt. Then it automatically closes when it's done speaking. I have it pop up in a terminal so that if you want to interrupt the speech, you can just Alt F4 out of there, cancel it without having to hunt down the process and kill it. So the binding looks like... Uh, no. Let's open it here. Here's a bunch of bindings. The one I made's at top. So this one gets it to go. So basically, you do a bind in Cute Browser. You specify the caret mode, so the binding only works in the context of caret mode. Uh, you bind capital S or Shift S. And when you hit Shift S, it'll yank what you have selected. And the dash S makes it yank to primary selection rather than clipboard because clipboard might be used by other programs. You might get some unpredictability. Primary selection is pretty much all cute browsers, so no worries about weird stuff, unpredictable stuff happening. The two semicolons are because it's a multi-step command here. This binding goes to two-step thing, basically. Later 10 makes it wait for like 10 microseconds. Um, it needs to do that because without this, it does the spawning here before the yank is actually completed. So once the yank is completed, you spawn an XFCE4 terminal. You can replace this with whatever terminal emulator you prefer. The two dashes here make specify to spawn that to ignore flags because these flag this flag here is meant for the terminal. But anyway, XFCE4 terminal execute bash on a custom script. And then with quotes, you, you put primary here. This is a placeholder for the primary selection. So this is how it gets the text into your reader script. But anyway, that's the binding. Um, I use this Pico2 wave for my text synthesis in this case, which you can get by getting this package, which I found in the app repository, one of them. I don't know which one. You should be able to find it. Anyway, you get that, and you do a little script. So let's see here. Um, here's what the script looks like that I made. So the top, you know, specify use bash. I want it to write all the text just because, so I echo it. Then you call the Pico2 wave program, which you have to make like output with it. So here's where you give it the text to synthesize and you put, you dump the output audio here. And then you just play the output audio with, with a command line player. And then at the very end, you remove your audio files. So you're not cluttering stuff up. Pretty simple thing, pretty cool. At least I think it's pretty cool. I like Cute Browser. I thought this was handy. Maybe somebody would find this usable. 
sort of ad hoc, uh, tricky little way of getting speech synthesis in your web browser without installing something huge like NVDA. Just more a little convenience, at least for me. And that's all I had for that. I think it's pretty cool. Have a good one.